All right, good morning from Resorts World, Conrad. It is early. In fact, it's criminal to be awake this early in Las Vegas, so bear with me. I wasn't even going to make this video. I just assumed there was a lot of great information out there, and I don't like making repetitive or redundant content. I like my content to be fresh. So just out of curiosity last night, I Googled it, and the list out there for the best hotels for couples in Las Vegas, they were terrible. They had no idea what they were talking about. One list had Aria being one of the best places for couples because of the Aria pools. And the pools in Vegas are important, but I don't think they're a deciding factor for couples. And moreover, the Aria pools are brutal. They're actually really pathetic for a hotel of that caliber. So at that point last night, I knew I had to get up early and make this video. Let's get right into it. This is the top 10 Vegas hotels for couples. All right, number 10 is the Strat, Stratosphere. And this might be a bit of a shocker to some of you, but trust me, hear me out. Uh, it has pretty much the most romantic restaurant in all of Las Vegas. Top of the world is a 360 degree rotating restaurant with arguably the very best views of Las Vegas. It is consistently voted the most romantic spot in the entire city. That restaurant is 107 stories up and up another story from that is the observation deck. It is one of the most popular places to get engaged in all of Las Vegas. And because of that, the Strat has a very popular and well-respected wedding chapel. The Strat comes in at number 10. Number nine is Cromwell, and Cromwell makes this list for a couple reasons. Number one, I think most importantly, it's adults only. So if you are a couple and you want a mature experience, an adult experience, maybe not a lot of screaming kids around, the Cromwell is gonna cater to that. Uh, number two, it is a boutique hotel. And in fact, it's the only boutique hotel on the Strip. So it's gonna offer a little bit of exclusivity. It's a little bit of a getaway in the middle of Las Vegas. So if you kind of want that getaway feel, but you still wanna be in the heart of Las Vegas Strip, the Cromwell's gonna be for you. And lastly, I think the Parisian theme, the French theme at Cromwell is very romantic. The casino floor is very emblematic of kind of like an old world French casino. And the rooms, I think, are some of the most unique in Las Vegas with the hardwood floors and the purple thematics. It is just a really cool boutique, intimate hotel experience that I think is great for couples. Cromwell comes in at number nine. Number eight is Park MGM, and it also has a European vibe, which I think it gives off a very romantic theme and feel. It's called Park MGM because they want to emit a type of park feel in the middle of Las Vegas. It's a great place to stroll around, whether you're either inside the property or out. Inside the property, you have an old world European type of feel. And then outside the property, there is a surprisingly large amount of greenery for being in the middle of Las Vegas. There is a very romantic spot to eat at called Primrose. You can have brunch either inside or outside on the patio. And then they have one of the best restaurants in all of Las Vegas at Bavette's. To take the food concept a little bit further, Italy I think is one of the greatest places to explore food-wise in Las Vegas. If you're a couple that likes Italian food or just food in general, you can spend the entire day at Italy. You can sample different types of pizzas and chocolates and meats and cheeses and espressos. I think Italy is one of the best spots to explore foods with somebody else. Besides that, Park MGM has multiple pools, each with different personalities, some being a little quiet which is great if you wanna share a romantic or special moment with someone else. Park MGM comes in at number eight. Number seven is where I am right now, it's Resorts World. Now there are three properties here at Resorts World and I think that's great because it gives you the option to choose the hotel based on your budget. All the rooms are great, they're pretty much brand new. So they are fresh and clean and modern and upscale. But if you just want an entry level room, you could stay at the Hilton. If you want a premium room, you could stay at Conrad. Or if you want an ultra luxurious room, you could stay over at Crockford's. The vibe at Resorts World is sexy and that's why I'm putting it on this list. This place is a little provocative. It has a lot of cosmopolitan flair, but it takes the cosmopolitan class and refinement to the next level. The main reason Resorts World makes this list is because of how versatile it is. No matter who you are and what you like to do as a couple, Resorts World is gonna have opportunities for you to have the best time ever. It has 10 high-end dining restaurants and 20 approachable casual restaurants. It has five different pools, a day club, a nightclub, multiple lounges, and shopping. Resorts World is the most expensive property in Las Vegas ever built. This place is a marvel, it is sexy, it is chic, it is cool, and it is upscale. It comes in at number seven. Number six is Delano. Now remember, Delano is on the same property as Mandalay Bay. There are two separate towers. I'm recommending the Delano Tower specifically because I think it's a bit more upscale, it's a bit more refined, it's a bit more elegant, intimate, 
and a bit more private and exclusive than Mandalay Bay. Delano offers one of the best and biggest standard rooms in all of Las Vegas, and I think its style and design is just a little bit better than its sister over at Mandalay Bay. I think Mandalay Bay and Delano is one of the best properties in all of Las Vegas. It is classy and upscale and refined, yet warm and comforting and friendly. The aquatic theme at Mandalay Bay is so romantic. There's water everywhere, from the fountains to the waterfalls to the beach to the pools. There's just something very special and romantic about the aquatic theme at Mandalay Bay. And I do think the Delano Tower is going to give you an uptick in experience. That's why Delano comes in at number six. Number five is Vidara. Now I'm choosing Vidara over Aria for a lot of the reasons I'm choosing Delano over Mandalay Bay. Remember Vidara is connected via a short outside walkway to Aria. So you are going to get access to all the Aria shopping, the Aria spa, the Aria restaurants, and the Aria experience. But I do like Vidara better because I think it is the more intimate tower. I think it's the quieter tower. It's a bit more relaxed and it's a bit more personalized than sometimes the bedlam that you're going to find at Aria. You know, I mentioned the Aria pools at the start of this video, and if you are a pool person or a couple that enjoys going to the pool, you are absolutely going to want to choose Vidara over Aria. The Vidara pool, I think, is one of the better ones in Las Vegas. It has gorgeous views. The service is phenomenal. The food and drinks are awesome. And I think it's one of the best intimate and boutique style pool experiences you're going to get in Las Vegas. Vidara comes in at number five. So this is where things get interesting. The top four were really difficult. I'm going to put Paris at number four. I think you probably expected to see Paris in this list at some point. You probably just didn't know where it was going to come in at. I'm putting it at number four. I mean, first of all, Paris, the city, is one of the most romantic places in the world. And the Las Vegas Hotel here does a great job of trying to replicate that experience. You have the Arc de Triomphe. You have the Eiffel Tower. And by the way, the Eiffel Tower does have a restaurant in it, just like the one in Paris does. It is consistently voted one of the most romantic spots in Las Vegas, and it is regarded as one of the best places and views to get a bite in the city. The casino ceilings are painted with clouds. There is French lighting and style everywhere throughout the casino. There are some awesome cafes to get a coffee or some French foods in the morning. And Mon Ami Gabi is one of the best places for either breakfast, brunch, or dinner in all of Las Vegas. To top it all off, I think this is one of the more affordable properties on this list. And the rooms do do a great job of emitting that Parisian vibe. Paris comes in at number four. Number three is the Bellagio. A lot of you are probably expecting the Bellagio to be at number one. I will tell you why the Bellagio is not at my number one for the most romantic or best places for couples in Las Vegas. But first of all, I think it's pretty obvious why the Bellagio comes in really high at this list at number three. It is just one of the most impressive and iconic and romantic places, not just in Las Vegas, but in the world. In a lot of ways, this entire property is meant to inspire great moments between couples, whether it's watching the fountains in person or from your room, whether it's taking a romantic stroll through the Garda Conservatory, or it could be sharing a great meal at some of the best dining in all of Las Vegas. The Bellagio is the most elegant hotel in Las Vegas, and it really epitomizes class and distinction, sophistication and romance. The Bellagio comes in at a solid number three, but it's not number one or number two, mostly because of overpopulation, mainly families and children. All right, number two is the Palazzo. Now I'm choosing the Palazzo specifically over the Venetian, but either one is going to work. I do think that Palazzo is the quieter tower, it's the classier tower, it's an uptick in refinement, it's a bit more elegant. I think it's just a bit more exclusive and secluded than the chaos over at the Venetian. But Venetian and Palazzo both are going to work, but I do feel the Palazzo is a better choice. Nonetheless, no matter which tower you choose, is there anything more romantic than Venice? If Paris is the most romantic city in the world, then Venice is absolutely number two. This property has multiple five star and five diamond awards, and it's the closest thing to going to Venice without going to Venice. You can do outdoor gondola rides. You can do indoor gondola rides. The canal shops is some of the most beautiful shopping I've ever seen in my life. It is literally a slice of Italy. St. Mark's Square is one of the most fascinating and romantic places to hang out in all of Las Vegas. And after you finish your gondola ride, you can enjoy an espresso, a gelato, a pizza, or just a special moment with that special someone. The shopping is world-class. The dining is world-class. The experience is world-class. And you get all of that in one of the best and biggest standard rooms in Las Vegas. The Venetian and Palazzo is one of the most spectacular, sensational, unforgettable, and romantic places in all of Las Vegas. It comes in at number two. 
Number one is Encore. Now I'm choosing Encore specifically over Wynn, but both are gonna be great. I know that Wynn just remodeled their rooms, but I do feel that Encore is the better place for couples. Like the Palazzo compared to the Venetian, the Encore is just gonna give you an uptick in class and elegance. It's gonna be a bit more secluded, a bit more private, and therefore a bit more romantic. No matter which property or tower you choose, Encore or Wynn, it's gonna be a magical experience, and that's because it is the best in Las Vegas. What is more romantic than sharing the very best in luxury with someone special? Every single square inch of that property is luxurious and special and magical and unforgettable. You can create unique lifelong experiences at every single point of that property. From the restaurants, to the pools, to the rooms, to the whimsically gorgeous casino floor, to the Lake of Dreams attraction. Every square inch of the property defines excellence and elegance, which makes it the perfect place to bring someone that means so much to you. Win and specifically Encore is sensational. It is spectacular. It is a marvel. And all these things lead to phenomenal romantic experiences. If you want to share the very best of Las Vegas with the very best of your life, it's absolutely Encore. That's why it comes in at number one.